Okay, let's see if we can see what we're looking at here. So, I noticed right away this, like, X-beam that goes through the frame here. And you look back here and there's a gouge and a decent sized kick up kink. Um, that's an old sticker, but anywhere that you have a bend like that in a structural frame, that, that distance that it's gone up shortens this. So that's gotta come out of somewhere. So it's likely that <clears throat> This isn't in alignment anymore. And I can kind of see here, it's not showing up on camera, but there's a bit of a bend here down, which means this thing has like <coughs> that way, which would shorten this thing and would pull that wheel forward. But I also noticed that, let's see if I can get it, the light's kind of fucking with it, but it's practically sitting on this side and there's, you can see, I can almost get my finger through there. So the whole torque tubes push that way. So I got hit on, I got hit on this side. Well, in the front and then that side, I don't know how it happened. It looked like a fucking forklift drove it side of it or something. Um, so that thing went that way a lot. And it's still that way a good bit. And it may have gone further that way than it, you know what I mean? It like, bam, and then it rested. It may have gone that way too. I don't know. Um, but that's, that's not good. But then when I look from here to the back, it's very subtle. But that spring looks like it's angling this way. So like the whole axle is pushed to the side, which we know it is. If it's... It's like a pool cue if way up here is over a quarter of an inch, then that means the long, you know, all the way down the end of the pool cue, and then that, that's moved over. If it's a quarter of an inch here, it's probably a whole inch out over there. I can't measure from the tire to the fender or rim to the fender over there because that fender's fucked. So I'm gonna have to measure from the back of the brake drum because I know that's true, to the inside of the frame rail or something that I also know is true still because I don't see any kinks in the frame. But I, I'm proposing that the entire axle is an inch this way. Now, not such a big deal. You would think, oh, just yank the fucking axle back that way, you know, bend whatever is bent back. You see right there. That's, I don't think that's supposed to be there. Um, but here's the real problem. So we know the torque ball leaks because obviously they all do. That's 99.9% .9 of the time when someone gets a 50s car, they do a swap. Not because the tranny or the clutch or the motor or anything's bad. It's because of this. And you can't just swap in a different tranny. You got to do the whole rear axle, the drive shaft, the everything it's all got to go or it's a bunch of thousands of dollars of adapters and brackets and fuck all that people just pull it and then they swap the whole thing whole drive line all the way to the rear axle and then you bag it while you're under there but so i knew i was going to be doing that i knew for a fact just to keep driving it as is i was going to have to do that um because eventually you'll lose enough trans fluid it'll start slipping out of gear and you burn up this 70 year old tranny good luck finding another one so then you're doing like i said the same thing you're swapping the whole drive line out or hopefully finding a donor but here's the real problem you kind of see it already so i thought okay that's probably like an let me get my hand out, an access plate that has popped off but now there's some nasty fucking metal here and some welds. So then you like zoom in a little further and you're, oh, fuck. So clearly when the, the drive line went that way, it tweaked the tranny against the block and that cracked 
the bell housing and that shit just fell out. So, uh, let me get out of here. Oh. Uh, the plan. Shut the fuck up. The plan was to rebuild the carb, fix that leak, check everything by the book. There's literally a, the first chapter of the manual is every point, every valve clearance, and that you start from the top and you work your way down and then you work your way back. And it tells you everything, how to top up the shock adjusters, everything, like by the book, literally. Um, so I was going to do all of that. I, already, I literally just ordered that and the seal kit. And then I got under there and really started digging in and found that. So I think because it runs and drives the way it is, and because if I am going to pull it to replace it anyway, I'm going to need to sell it. So I want to be able to show it running and driving. Um, so I'll go ahead and let that stuff get shipped because I literally like minutes ago I could message them and cancel them it's still a weekday but i'm not gonna do it i'll even include it with the sell if i don't get to it but which i'll i'll as soon as it comes in the mail i'm gonna do it um i want to drive it so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do the inspection on everything and top everything up and then i'm gonna putz around in it for a little while while i look for a donor and a buyer for this because i'd like to be able to have a buyer see it in the car running and driving so i can get the most value out of it aka dollars um and then hopefully sell it to them complete like motor tranny torque tube rear axle brakes the whole nine and then i'll have to do a custom brake setup probably uh, a Mustang too, if this steering, because it's that weird behind the cross member steering, drag link, push link, prop link, fucking, um, man, it's like a can of worms, you open the top and then they just start going everywhere, uh, so, yeah, it's probable, because of how big this is, I can get, a, I'm gonna go watch some videos on it, but I can probably get a Vortec in here, like a 5.3 with a 4L60 out of a wrecked truck or something and not have to change the <clears throat> steering and the crossover and all that, leave all that stock, cut the coils, drop it a little bit, ride it like that for a while, and then bag it. I think that's the plan. And the under seat heater I spoke about in the last video, that's already been deleted, but... Do I have the keys? I have the keys. Um, which kind of, I kind of already knew because I can't, I don't think I can show it, but I noticed, yeah, it's blocked. I noticed the other day, yesterday when I was inspecting everything, let me go. There's a couple of extra holes right there. You can see to the right, I'm going to finger in there, right there, which don't normally exist. Like the water lines are going into that thing to create the defrost and then they go down and under the car under the seat to the original heater but the original heater is not there it's plated over and sealed with silicone carne and then there's those two holes right there that would normally out like on a newer car that would be for the ac condenser compressor coil the coil i don't know it's like a radiator but for cold so that goes into the dash, and then there's just those two holes for another coil of some kind. So I was like, okay, that's clearly something goes there. And luckily, I got a trunk full of parts. Ah, heavy bitch. Oh, no light. No light. Oh, I got enough light right there. So then I see this, and I'm like, oh, well, that's clearly what went in there. Got to repair this guy with a new bolt but it looks like ah, some kind of neat aftermarket under dash heater 
and it's got like directionable vents and you can point them wherever you want and that way it blows on the passenger's legs and your legs so i will probably get that cleaned up and refreshed leak test it so i know it's not going to piss fluid all over the floorboard and then yeah those two holes right there so that thing sits about right here so it'd be blowing on me and blowing on nobody the dogs i guess um yeah so <coughs> stinks of fucking mouse turds so that's next too once i get this door off and the new one on and the window swapped out and then um I'm going to pull the seats and then pressure and, you know, pressure wash everything, but pull the seats, pull the headliner and then like spray everything out. That way I can see the quality of the floorboard metal. <clears throat> see if there's any more rust I need to cut out, etc. So yeah, that's, uh, the saga coming to you live. Yeah. I can like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, keep on modding, guys.